Sexual reproduction involves two alternating parts that depend on each other, gamete production and fertilization. In this chapter, we learn about gamete production, also called gametogenesis. We will start with the eukaryotic mitotic cell cycle, the way cells in our body, as well as unicellular organisms, reproduce. We will learn how chromosomes are replicated and how they are segregated into two genetically identical daughter cells in mitosis. The mitotic cell cycle forms the foundation of meiosis, which lies at the heart of sexual reproduction, and that we will discuss in the second video. In meiosis, one diploid cell is divided by two consecutive divisions into four cells. These four cells are not only genetically different from each other, but also from any other cell. Meiosis thus generates a huge diversity, which is of great evolutionary importance. Meiosis is highly conserved in all eukaryotes and is essential for preserving and maintaining the genome from one generation to the next. In the third video, we'll see that in many unicellular organisms like yeast, the gametes of both mating types are very similar in size and properties. In animals and plants, in contrast, male and female gametes are profoundly different. Female gametes, eggs, are the largest cells in the body, while male gametes, sperm, are the smallest. This difference is the source of most other differences between females and males, differences that we will discuss in depth in future chapters. So while meiosis is similar in female and male gametes, gametogenesis couldn't be more different. Both egg production and spermatogenesis are highly complex and specialized. The fourth video will deal with the human-female menstrual cycle, with its hormonal regulation, with ovulation and with egg maturation. The fifth video will discuss the male gamete production. Dr. Carmelit Richler will prepare for us cells from different meiotic stages from grasshopper and testicles. In some of the unicellular organisms, like yeast, the gametes are very similar. However, in other such organisms, like the malaria parasites, gametes are different and slightly resemble male and female gametes. We will therefore conclude this chapter with a malaria parasite and tell you how we got sick with malaria in Africa and how this malaria parasite reproduces sexually.